Race fam, Brian Davis races and you can too. This is really important. I've been working on intervals for the last six weeks or so on Trainer Road and I've learned some things. This is not my first time doing intervals. This is not my first video about tricks with intervals, but these are new tricks. So stay tuned to this video to learn some tricks to help you get through some really challenging intervals. All right, let's get into these tricks for these intervals because this is really a critical part of your season. Everything that you're doing right now in the early season before racing is going to lay the foundation for how your season's gonna turn out. So it's really important that you knock out these intervals. Now, I posted recently my experience, my one year total review of Trainer Road. And in that video, I scrolled through my calendar and I discovered that I left a lot of workouts short and I had to knock down the intensity on a lot of workouts. This year, that has gone away. I think I've only missed two workouts and maybe had to cut one short. So Guys, that is not true. After I went back and looked at this video more, I started seeing how much TSS I was missing, and it was actually significantly more than I thought. So I'm still missing 10 to 15% of my TSS in those first couple weeks. Ugh, frustrating. But despite missing some of that TSS, I'm still doing way better than I was last year, and all these tricks still apply even if I missed a couple more workouts than I thought. So we're gonna talk about sleep, we're gonna talk about focus, we're gonna talk about a little bit about energy and distraction, and a couple of these different tactics that I've been using to get through these last couple workouts. I'd say that my compliance rate is probably in the 90% range, and I'm okay with that, hoping for better than last year. All right, let's dive in. All right, the first little trick we're gonna talk about today is sleep. Now this happens very far away from the bike, but it's really, really important. So some of the things I've done to improve my sleep is I've had a fan that I've used for years that helps keep me cool and provide white noise. I try to limit the electronics before I go to sleep, although I'm not awesome at that. And then my last trick is to use every once in a while when I know I need a really good night of sleep or if I had a lousy night of sleep the night before, I'll pop in a leave or Tylenol or some sort of pain relief thing. And it's not that I'm in pain, but I find that just one of these is enough to put me out for the whole night without having me pop up again and again throughout the night. So neat little trick, don't overuse the leave. All right, let's get on to the next one. You so squishy. You so squishy cat. All right, my second tip is to have a little bit of espresso before your workout. Now, there is some scientific research about espresso, well, about coffee, caffeine in general. And I looked into those, and it turns out that you have to put an extraordinary amount of caffeine into your body to make that effective. It is crazy. It's actually... 480 milligrams is what it would take for me to reach what the scientific studies say. So I'm not going to drink that much. That's like six shots of espresso. So, But a little bit is going to go a long way to getting me through this next hour, hour and a half workout, two hour workout. So a little espresso before you start work. <laughs> All right. So here's one of my other tips. Lately, I've been using these noise canceling headphones when I'm on the bike. And I never really did this before because I live in a house. The family doesn't really care. If I crank up the TV so I can hear it, no big deal. I don't have any babies sleeping. I can make some noise. But uh, I used these one day, I don't even know why. And holy cow, what a difference. I found my ability to focus on getting the job done was greatly enhanced by using these noise canceling headphones. So I've been using them a lot more since. Another thing that I do that's part of this trick is that when I get down to those last one or two intervals where things get pretty grippy, uh, I'll have a plan in my mind of what I want to do. So the first little bit of the workout or the first half, I can watch random stuff like Saturday Night Morning Live, uh, Saturday, Saturday Night Live or cycling stuff or whatever I want. Uh, cycle cross races are my favorite. But when it gets down to those last two intervals and I feel like I want to quit, I will switch to music. So I'll find like Metallica Live or some uh, rap music I want to listen to or whatever the case is. I'll find that on YouTube. I'll be pumping it through here on Bluetooth on the noise canceling. And for whatever reason, I find getting those last two intervals done with music just clicks my brain into a different space. So those first four or first three or first two, whatever it is, I can do normal. I don't necessarily need all the focus, but in those last two where things get pretty hard, switching your routine to something totally different has been a total game changer for me to get through those last two. And you can see that in the results of me being able to finish the workouts and still being able to maintain the power I need to get done, at least so far, until it gets harder. <laughs> All right, 
So that's my tip here. Yeah, noise canceling headphones and understanding what music you want to listen to in those last two intervals. That's my tip. Okay. Okay. Let's wrap this up. All right, everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. Remember, a great way to support us is to go to followhollow.com and pick yourself up a great pair of socks. I would really appreciate that. The goal on the channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge, and grow our fitness. And hopefully, I delivered that to you today. Or how do you distract yourself from the pain when you're doing your intervals? So leave a comment down below. I'm sure that you can help somebody else if you have a good tip. Sometimes I do math, and I'm terrible at math. That's super distracting. So, um, yeah. So, uh, question, do you guys wanna see a full ramp test? I have uh, Sweet Spot Base 2 is finishing up, and I think I'm gonna do the full ramp test and then give my full results. It'll be a longer video, but I think it'll be interesting to just watch that whole process from start to finish. Uh, it's not really interesting, but just to watch how much pain I go through and maybe compare that and contrast to what you go through. So, yeah, that's it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and definitely smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube al algorithm to figure out who's making reasonably good cycling content, and I hope I'm doing that for you. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon.